which Marilyn was demonstrating earlier, after it is done um, being rubbed, then it dries and we highlight it with the natural dye, which is from the Oa tree. And we use the brown dye to highlight and then we add black. So we try to leave a little bit of the rubbed from that LA, from the, the clay, and then highlight with the brown and black. And then the last step is to finish it off with the coconut scented. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Now, are you following a traditional uh, pattern, or are you allowed to interpret uh, where the uh, colors go? I'm allowed that I'm allowed to interpret where the colors go. Um, the pattern is from the upeti board, which is carved um, from the wood carvers. And usually, the men were carving the boards, and then they hand them over to the women who lay them and highlight them, and then we can use our artistic eyes to do whatever. So, no two. Maybe no two are alike. Maybe sometimes two are alike, but you can you can do whatever you want in highlighting. Okay. Please carry on. What else would you like to know? interpretation of it with the center embellished 
with the fine lines. And now the crooked lines and our fine lines in our tapla indicates the Senate, which is the woven coconut fiber. And the straight lines signify the coconut rib, the rib of the coconut. And, and what is the dye made of? The dye is, it comes from what you call the blood tree, mm -hmm. with the Latin name, if you want to sound really important, Bishofia Javanica. <laughs> I'm gonna make you